take one. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, it's been a while. <laughs> yeah, but I am back with a new YouTube video. So, today's video is gonna be a soft glam, glittery, you know, going out date night kind of look. And I'm gonna be using some of my favorite products that I currently use right now. And I'm gonna kind of just talk you through the step-by-step -step process. So if you wanna see how I created this bomb ass look, keep on watching. Stay tuned. So first of all, I'm gonna start off with laying down the brows and I'm gonna be using Got To Be Glued. So this product is good for like, obviously use it in your hair. It's more for like spiking up your hair or like holding all your hair in place. Um, so obviously eyebrows are hair as well. So this is great for having that sort of brow lamination kind of look. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. So the texture of this is quite like, it kind of comes out a little bit watery, but then it kind of thickens up and it is quite like gluey. If you kind of see. So I'm just gonna get a brush. I'm gonna just use this mini like toothbrush brow. Um, I got this in like the Revolution Soap Brow, which I always use. I also use this one for my brows as well. I'm gonna use that brush, which is like this. And I'm literally gonna get some of the glue and I'm gonna use the top here to just mix it in. Literally just gonna first just get a brush and we're just gonna brush up the brows. We're just gonna take it through the brows. Be careful not to get it on your, like, your skin. Because obviously when it dries, you don't want it to have like glue because it will show through your foundation. So we're literally just pushing that through the brows and just taking them off. So a little thin brush like that. And you're gonna literally just lay down the brows. So we're just pushing down the brows and flattening them out. Some people like to use their fingers, but I feel like this is a little bit more precise using the brush end. And then we'll go around and we're just gonna like shape them out so they're not like sticking up crazy but there we have it brow lamination so I love to have a, like a glowy looking foundation so I'm gonna start off by popping on the tinted glow booster by NARS so I'm gonna use this as like a primer so basically it's like a tinted moisturizer so you can use it on its own or you can mix it with your foundation so like that um, it's limited edition but you can still find it online in like John Lewis um, look fantastic as well right onto my face to be honest I mean you can even see how glowy that's made on the skin look and then we're going to continue the glow up and we're going to be using the Shia glow foundation from natural radiant long wear which has got a little bit more coverage i love this one as well but then i decided i wanted to get the sheer glow nars foundations are 10 out of 10. then going in with the pc19 from peaches and cream and we're By the way, the shade of foundation that I wear is New Caledonia. They've been in Fit Me and I'm wearing the shade um, Caramel. So this is a really nice cheap alternative and it is quite really nice and creamy. So I'm gonna use that. Like, hasn't the world just gone like obsessed with TikTok these days? I mean, I got TikTok back in about October last year and I just started like posting like the makeup like tutorial kind of things on there. If you're here from TikTok, hello, welcome. It's just basically just videos of music, so I find it fun to do like my makeup stuff on there. And uh, I can't remember what this brush is called, but I use it for um, just blending out the concealer. So it's like a fluffy, small brush. With a seconds concealer, and I'm using the Conceal and Define from Makeup Revolution. It's so affordable. Um, and it's got amazing coverage. So I'm just gonna pop that sort of in the middle. Yeah, we're not gonna take it too far down or underneath the eye area. And again, we're gonna be just patting it out. I'm gonna take the Fenty Beam Powder in Universal and we're just gonna use that just to set underneath the eyes. And we're just literally gonna pat that underneath the eyes. You can use this for if you tend to get quite an oily T-zone. Really love the Huda Beauty in Kanufa. Highlighting. I love this because it has like a yellow sort of tone to it. I'm gonna pop some bronzer on and 
My favorite bronzer that I've been using at the moment is the Morphe bronzers, which I recently ordered. Where's it gone? So I'm gonna be using the Brontor. And this was on sale on Morphe for eight pounds. So if you're looking for some decent bronzers, I mean, it comes like that. You get like a matte bronzer, and one that's a little bit more like shimmery, and then you can mix them together, which gives you a nice like sun-kissed bronzy look. Use the PC08 brush from Morphe, which is like a contour angled brush. Hope you guys can see this well, because right now I'm just using like one my ring light, and then I've got a soft box, and then like the windows are open. But like, I want to have like good light for my YouTube videos, so everything's like nice and clear. So now we are looking like a bronze goddess. <laughs> and now I'm gonna put up on some blusher. So for the longest, I've been looking for like to use. So I was looking at the Fenty ones, um, like milk makeup as well, but I just hadn't got around to buying one. Lo and behold, I found a alternative, which has saved me some coin. Lord China was using the yellow base as like a cream blusher. Um, so I'm gonna be using the orange one, which is the P. Louise OTT Orange. And this is actually an eye base for like, obviously popping, you can use it to pop eyeshadow on the top of, but it's like got a creamy texture, so it's gonna be multi-use. I'm gonna be using this as a blush. In with the PC19 brush, and we're just gonna dab it in. Um, and just tapping it in tone it down a little bit because I did put probably a little bit too much on that side. So there we have it, we are looking flush. And now I'm just gonna top it off and I'm just gonna pop a little bit of Toby from some Juvia's palette. So I'm gonna go with that color here and we're just literally gonna pop that on the top. Move on swiftly with the eyes and I'm gonna be using the P. Louise base in Rumor 6. And this is the perfect shade for me. It blends in so good with my complexion as well. Which is so I don't know what the number is for this one. But I will link something that's pretty much the same. I have been working from home. So it's just allowed me to have a little bit more time to like just do more like makeup looks and things like that. Like on my Instagram and more TikToks. Because obviously I've cut out that like going to work, getting in the car, coming back home. So like where I am now is basically where I'll be working from home. Like this is like my office now. Makeup room slash office. I feel like I've been trying to push myself to do a lot more different looks. I mean, I love doing like soft glam and like blown out looks, but I've also been pushing myself to do like more kind of artsy looks as well. Now I'm gonna go in with my favorite eyeshadow palette and I think most anyways it's their favorite as well, which is their Be Perfect. Carnival XL Pro palette. You've got all these colours in there, every colour you need really. It, the pigments are A1. Like, if you haven't got any palettes at home and you're wanting a palette that's gonna have literally everything you need to get yourself started to do makeup, get yourself this. The colour Slow Burn, which is this colour here. We're gonna take a MAC 217 brush, I think it says, because it's kind of rubbed out. And we're just gonna take that into the crease area using circular motions I'm just taking that in the crease area oh yeah I forgot to mention what I've also been doing in like lockdown I've also been doing my nails myself so these are my nails so they're basically like a full on tip, but it's made of gel, not plastic. And then basically you use like a builder gel to like adhere the gel to your um, nail bed. So it's like a full on tip. And then you literally you just apply a color over the top. Oh my God, it's so, once you master the technique, it is so easy to do. So yeah, I've just thought to myself, you know what, I want my nails to look good, like I'm bored in the house. Why not learn how to do my nails? I mean, if I can draw eyeliner straight, I can surely paint my nails straight. I'm going to do like a little tutorial, um, like how I did them. So that's a video that's going to be coming soon. Yeah, it's Kiara Sky nails, jelly tips that I use. And then the colour is Candy Coat. They also do like 
gel kits and things like that that you can do at home so the colour is from them it, this was the brush from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette the um, modern Renaissance basic I'm just going quite lightly I'm just going to literally soften out the edges a little bit of intuition which is like a deep chocolate brown I'm just going to add that to the edges. Just to add a little bit of depth. So now I'm going to pop a pigment on. I'm going to use Peaches and Cream Pigment in the shade Dynamite, which is like a nice coppery, um, really fine glitter. My favourite sort of pigments that I like to use. These are my go-tos. Yeah. Yeah, that's the last time I'm gonna do that. I'm not putting glitter in front of the camera again because there's just literally glitter everywhere now. There's glitter on my phone, there's glitter over my stand, there's glitter on the table. Stress. So I'm gonna take the PC11 brush and we're gonna just literally pat that into the pigment. And we're literally just gonna pat that onto the eyelid. Yes, honey. And um, we're just going to keep patting it on. And we're going to take it slightly, just a little bit up onto the crease area. How gorgeous that colour is. I'm going to pop some eyeshadow onto the bottom lashes and I'm using the PC14 brush. And we're going to go back in with the colour Intuition, which is the deep brown chocolate colour and we're just taking that on the lash line area I'm just going to go underneath and just blend out and we're literally going to take the highlighter which is Stila Cosmetics bronze highlighter it's so like buttery so soft and I'm gonna pop them on off camera and but I'm gonna be using the bold face cosmetic lashes and these are the lashes in super boost only gifted um, a load of lashes from them glam quite fluffy so we're gonna go with these BAM so I've started using the bold face cosmetics um, B11 better brows pencil and I really love this it's just easy to just glide for the brows quite similar to the NYX one, oaks through the brows and we're just following the natural brow line, brow line, the natural hair be a nude lip, you know me well. So I'm going to use the Out and Pout from Morph Brushes which is the Caramel Nude and I absolutely love, love, love this colour. It's perfect for like darker skin tones. You get a pencil, lip gloss and a lipstick in there as well. So the pencil is like a chocolatey brown. So I'm going to use that to outline the lips. Or Boo, which is that nudie kind of colour. And they're going to use that to do the under. And then we're going to go back in with the pencil and blend it in. I'm going to use the colour Chill which is the gloss, new gloss that you get in there. And I'm, what I'm going to do is pop it on the back of my hand because <laughs> I just hate when like you mix it in with the brown and it goes all funny colour in here and then you just don't get the same colour that you usually would get. So we're going to pop it on the back of the hand, get a lip brush using PC55 from Peaches and Cream and we're going to apply that pretty much on the centre 
nude ombre lips. Remember I told ya, Morph Trio Caramel Nude with the Stila Cosmetics, which is what I use to highlight the brow bone. Morphe from M411, which is a big blending eye brush, but I'm gonna use it to highlight. spray now and I've been using the Morphe setting spray usually I would use Urban Decay which was my holy grail for many many years from when I worked there always used to use theirs started to use the Morphe continuous setting mist just because I feel like it just oh, it just sets your face it just like marinates your makeup all together so you don't even have to shake it up literally it's like hairspray for the face so Stops your foundation from looking like powdery or like you know, just 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 makes it look good. I just love it. This is the finished look. We have gone for a bronze goddess sort of you know glitter glam look. I'm gonna switch it up, soft glam, whatever you want to call it. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this look using some of my favorite products that I currently use right now. Uh, let me know if there's any looks you want to see in future. So remember, guys, I'm gonna be linking all the products that I use in the description below. And remember, guys, I love you, I appreciate you, and I want to keep you. So hit the subscribe button and make sure you like this video and stay tuned if you like to see more. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace.